This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Great, as always, to get Peter Fury back on the channel. Some big news today uh, regarding your boy Huey and also Savannah Marshall. Done deals with Boxer and Sky Sports. Why Boxer and Sky Sports, Peter? Why is that the right fit for him? Um, you know, it's all about getting the fights now for Huey and Savannah. And, um, you know, Sky Sports, you know, they've stepped up to the plate. They uh, massively believe in Yui and they massively believe in what Savannah can do. So, um, you know, it was, a, uh, <clears throat> it was the right decision for us to go with uh, Sky. Yeah, 16th of October, uh, the back out in a, in a massive card. And uh, Savannah is also joined by Clarissa Shields on the stable. So that could be an interesting narrative, Peter. Yeah, exactly. I think um, Clarissa Shields is signed now. And, you know, it, it's all to make this fight as well. So, you know, they'll be fighting on the same card later on in the year. So, um, you know, you'll see both of them on the same bill. And then it's uh, heading up for a super fight in the, uh, in the new year. Absolutely. And we get Huey Fury in with Christian Hammer, um, who's been around the block and experienced customer. Uh, what do you think Christian Hammer brings at this stage of his career to, to Huey? I think he's durable. You know, he, this is a guy, he fights back. He's, uh, he's credible. He's still only 33, you know, so it's a big opportunity for him. So I think he, uh, he'd be on his A game. So it's a, it's, it's, it's a good fight. You know, like I say, he's been over here. He's fought David Price. Um, you know, he's, he's been in with everybody. You know, he went the distance with um, uh, Ortiz as well. So he's, uh, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a solid performer. So it's going to be a, be a decent fight. Mm. I'm sure, obviously, you wouldn't have signed uh, Huey with Boxer and Sky Sports without a concrete plan. What have they told you is the plan for Huey Fury for the end of the year and also moving to next year? Um, Huey's got two or three fights and uh, against good opponents. Uh, so we'll get Christian Hammer, you know, hopefully out of the way. And uh, he'll be fighting again in December. Okay. Um, and then the next year, you know, on to bigger and better things. You know, we can only take it fight by fight. Mm. Of course, uh, Huey and Savannah had a, a few fights on the roster with Matru, who have now moved to his own. Um, why didn't you continue to move to the and his own? And, yeah, why, why did you choose Boxer and Sky instead? Just repeat that question, because I couldn't hear with the noise. Yeah, there was a, yeah, there was a lot of noise. I said that Savannah and Huey have obviously been with Eddie for a while now. Um, why leave Eddie and his own and, and switch over to Sky and Boxer? <laughs> Yeah, we had a good time with Eddie, but you know, this is a uh, this is boxing, and uh, Sky is producing the right fights, and um, you know, got nothing bad to say about uh, anything with all the, the the past, you know. But uh, it's all about the fighters and what's best for the fighters and the uh, the right kind of fights and the fights getting made. So you know, there's uh, nothing personal. They all done a good job, but um, we just believe Sky is the right platform for Yui and Savannah. What are you looking for from Huey against Christian Hammer, Pete? A clinical performance? Well, I say, you know, you're going to see big differences in Huey. Um, so we've been working on a lot of stuff. So um, rather than talking, we haven't got long to wait. So on the 16th of October, we'll see exactly what he's been doing and what he's going to bring. But um, it's going to be exciting. Uh, and Huey's more than ready. And is it going to be the big fights and the big names that we can expect Huey to be in a ring with from now on? Definitely, that, that will happen, you know, and that's what Sky's promised, you know, Boxer as well, they promised uh, the big fights, so, um, you know, that's why we're here, you know, because we don't want to be messing around with mediocre fights, so the good fights are going to come. Well, to be fair, he's already done that at a really young stage in his career, but now with a, a more developed Huey Fury, the one you're talking about, hopefully we see that on October 16th, instead of just going in there and, and competing at times, do you think he can go in with these big names and, and really put statements on? Peter. Absolutely, you know, if we got a, if we got somebody who's up and coming, you know, let's face it, he's still only 26, you know, and he's uh, he is now an adult, so he's come into his own. So I can't wait to be honest. You know, it's a, uh, it's, it's it's going to be very interesting. I'm very happy with his progress where he is. Uh, so it's all coming together for Huey at the right time. Well, so I'm going to speak to Savannah and Huey individually, but how are they feeling at this point uh, with this deal? You know, they feel ecstatic, you know, Savannah knows, Savannah knows now Clarissa Shields is there, that's going to happen, you know, they both signed up with Sky Boxer, so this is it, you know, these are the reasons why we're here to get these fights, you know, so 
There's no politics. We know these fights are going to happen. And when they say they're going to happen on the date, they're going to happen. You know, so plenty of notice for the opponents. So it's, uh, it's all good. It's just straightforward. I can get in the gym, train the fighters and do what we do. You know, it's my job to get the fighters in the best physical shape and ready for them performances to give good performances. So, um, you know, that's where it's at. So, you know, yeah, we're very happy with everything. Well, yeah, we're in September now. So only six or seven weeks of business time for you guys in the gym and then, and then it's fight night. Um, Peter, I will ask you about the weekend. I mean, I don't know if you watched any of it or you've seen anything on social media. Jake Paul is creating a lot of noise. Um, what do you think about him headlining pay-per-view cards? And did you catch up with any of it? I didn't, you know, you got my view on it all. You know, look, when you're watching, I'm into world-level boxing and we're dealing with world-level fighters, so it's hard for me to look at that, you know. For, so it, it is what it is. It's play boxing. So it's not boxing. It needs to be called something else. I don't know what you can call it, but it's not boxing. It's called, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. Some people obviously split. Some people have that opinion. Some people say, even though you can't take it as serious boxing, that he's still good for the sport. Do you think he's good for the sport, Jake Paul? It's not good for the sport, is it? It's not good for real boxing. You know, so this is not real boxing. So it's, uh, it is what it is. Look, these guys, if they're making plenty of money and it's a business, fantastic. The best look to them. Mm. Nothing personal, what I'm saying about, it, yeah? If they can get these big money fights and put a load of money in the pocket, then it's fantastic for them, yeah? But watching it, you know, I won't watch that because it's not worth watching. I'm not watching it because what's the point looking at it? You know, if you if when you're looking at world level fighters fight and you're looking at somebody like these getting it on, you know, there's no point in training six days a week, is there? I might as well go home and uh, just tell the fighters to turn up in fight week. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Peter, congratulations on your guys' deals with Boxer and Sky Sports. We will see you on fight week and uh, no doubt we'll have a catch up on IFL soon anyways. God bless. Thanks for your time. And you, Uma. All the very best to you. Thanks, Peter. See you soon. See you soon.